soon. So things that are typically starting now are pretty well finished now. And um, things that uh, maybe haven't quite started are in full bloom now. So there's a, a lot of different minor bulbs that are blooming now. This one is Coralopsis. And it too is usually an early plant, but when I say early, it's usually last week of April, first week of May. And you can see these are in, in full bloom right now. And Lauren, you, you were saying that uh, in your 25 years here, 22 years working here, and three as a student, uh, you've never seen anything quite like this. No, we've had warm weather in March before in the 20s, but I don't ever remember it being this warm for this long. And I can categorically say that the plants have never been this far along in at March 23rd at this time of year. Yeah. And just uh, for people at home that have their own little gardens and uh, some things, uh, things that they should be looking out for, what type of typical garden plants would be coming up now and, uh, and what time would they normally come up? Well, some of the things would be daffodils, narcissus are in full bloom. And normally there are some early ones that may start April, but your main show is usually third to fourth week of, of April and they're in full bloom right now. Other very common ones, Forsythia, which again is end of April, they are in full bloom right now. And um, I mentioned the minor bulbs. A lot of uh, the early season woodland plants, and there's another one over here, which is... This one is called Bloodroot, and I think it's a beautiful flower. What it typically does is the leaves protect the flower in the cold and then when it warms up the flower is uh, comes out or the, it's unwrapped and you have the nice white flowers. This is a native northeastern um, North American plant. You'll see a lot of it down in the glen but the unique, unique one of the unique things about this plant is that it's very ephemeral, very short-lived. The flower is not the plant. The plant is a perennial but the flower is very short-lived. Often we can get seven to nine days as soon as the warm weather comes, these, uh, these petals will start dropping off. So that's one of those things that it's in full bloom now, but if we continue to get warm weather, it will be gone very quickly, about four, four weeks earlier than it's used to. And uh, should people be concerned about the early blooming or just enjoy the show a little bit earlier this year? Well, they should enjoy the show. And what we're hoping for is if not continued, I'm going to say this, continued mild weather, maybe not continued warm weather, and particularly that we don't get a severe freeze, and then I think we'll be fine. If we get minus 5, minus 6, then I am concerned. I don't think we're going to lose plants, perennial plants or shrubs. I think what we will lose is some foliage and definitely the flowers if we get some very cold temperatures, but we're, we're hoping that's not going to be the case. Yep. And uh, the gardens down here, are they open right now? Are people welcome to come down and take a look? People are very welcome if you're anxious to get out in the warmer weather, and we still have that right now. We will have uh, gardens blooming from now until the end of November, and lots of fall color in the fall, so you can come at any week and there will be plants blooming for you to, to see.